Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have a great topic that I'm going to discuss about DHCP for IPv4. So, you guys may ask me that why IPv4 here? Because we also have a DHCP for IPv6. I'm not gonna talk about the IPv6 in this video. Maybe another video. Okay. The question is, what is the DHCP for IPv4? Let's move in. Okay, the ACP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and it's used to provide IP address to the client automatically. So, on the client machine, you guys don't have to manually config the IPv4 address. As you can see, that it is so uh, convenient and reliable. Okay, and we have four main messages for the DHCP and the beautiful name right here, Dora, represents for those all messages. Okay, uh, so the first D of Dora name here represents for this cover message. So what is the uh, what is the meaning of the discover message? I'm going to draw uh, one scenario here to make you guys easy to understand. So I suppose that I have PC right here as a DHCP client I'm going to connect to the router right here that's that running the DHCP server inside. Okay. So when this this client wants to establish the I'm sorry, want to get the IP address from the color one to the server right there, uh it's going to establish the DHCP discover message to the server here. The this message means that uh, hey, is there any DHCP server out there? <laughs> okay, and then this router is going to re reply back with an offer to the client. And in that DHCP offer, is going to contain some, uh, uh, not some, uh, the IP address of the host here represent, represent uh, in the DHCP pool. And the uh, default gateway, blah, 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 something like that. So the, the, the message meant that, uh, hey, bro, here. I am the DHCP server, and here is the IP address that I can let you see. If you like it, just tell me back. Okay, and then the PC right here is going to uh, generate something like that, and it feel like okay, this IP is interest. Uh, this IP is interest interesting, and I want it, so I'm going to send the DHCP request to the server right there, and it say that, hey bro, the IP address is just sent me at the moment. I'm interested to it, so I want it. Can you let me list the IP address? And then the server is going to uh, uh, reply with the DHCP acknowledgement to the to the client back. Okay, bro. Uh, you can get the, this IP address for a period of time. So, but before the server uh, lets the client have this IP address for the 24 hours only by default, so you can adjust this. Uh, so after the 24 hour, the client will release. And renew the IP address and get the uh, new IP address space, uh, new IP address from the DHCP server here. Okay, this is the pre flow of the DHCP message. <laughs> kind of fun, right? Okay, uh, this is the next scenario here that I'm going to uh, talk briefly. Uh, I suppose that this is the client here going to get the IP address from the DHCP server here, and this guy is going to config statically. Uh, the first thing you have to remember that the all of the IP, all of the DHCP message is going to work in the broadcast. Okay, it's very hard to write. Okay, broadcast here. So it works like this: uh, this client is going to establish the DHCP disk call message to the switch here because this message is going to work in the broadcast. So it just uh, send every packets uh, to everybody else in the network. So I suppose that all of the interface here are on the same network. So it's going to broadcast out of the uh, pod right there to everybody else. So because this message is uh, use UDP port 67 here, uh, it means that it's represented for the DHCP server. So this guy have no idea what the packet is, it just drop the packet. And only this guy the DHCP server understand the packet because it said it's UDP port 67 and it's gonna know that oh, uh, a client wants to get the IP address from me so I'm going to reply back okay and this guy going to reply back with the DHCP offer here contains the IP address in it uh, and then the message going to broadcast okay broadcast to everybody and this guy having uh, any more DHCP client on their device so it's just drop it because it have no idea what it is only this guy know uh, this guy will see the the something inside the packet of the offer packet here, see the MAC address and it interests of that IP address, and it just send back the DHCP uh, request to the client uh, to the DHCP 
server here and going to broadcast again. Okay, every, every, every message going to broadcast again and again. And this guy have no idea what it is. Okay, uh, this message is the request message going to tell the server that Hello bro, uh, the message, the IP address that you just sent me at the moment, I want it. So can you list it for me? And the ACB server gonna say, okay bro. Uh, uh, I'm gonna list for you. And this message is represented for the ACP acknowledgement. Going to send to the switch here. The switch going to broadcast to everybody again and again. And this guy drop it, drop it. Okay, finally, this is the acknowledgement message to allow the, this PC to uh, assign the IP address uh, automatically on the NIC rack here. Okay, this is the flow of the DHCP process uh, that I just talked briefly. So I'm going to demo you on the picket tracer. I have created a lab right here. As you can see that I haven't done any configuration yet. Uh, before I do the configuration, I would like to use on the Notepad++ and write the proof event for you guys to easy to understand. Okay, suppose I'm on the router. So this is the DHCP server. Okay. So I'm going to go into the interface to be zero. So here I, I put the IP address 10.0.1 for the default gateway right there. No shutdown. And this is the end of the uh, configuration how to assign the IP address on the interface. The next step I'm going to configure the, the IP. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to configure the HTTP server on the router. How to do that? Let's begin. So we're going to configure the IP DHCP pool and we can assign any name. It can be A, it can be B, it can be any, any name. So I'm going to use LAN because, uh, because uh, this area is a LAN area. Okay, so I'm sorry. So this is LAN. I designed this one is LAN. Okay, and the network address uh, that we want to provide the DHCP service is 10.0.0 here. And the, and the subnet one is 255.255.0 here. Okay, the default default router here going to be 10.0.1. I mean, 10.0.0.1. And DNS server. Uh, I have no idea that my scenario you're gonna have a DNS server, but uh, I'm gonna use a Google or the DNS server. Okay, the one is 8.8.8.8. .8 okay, so I'm going to exit. If I only config like this, uh, I'm going to have the duplicate IP address. So to fix this, I have to do a warning on the router. Uh, this command is going to be like this: IP DHCP excluded. Okay, excluded address ten zero zero one. So what does it mean? Uh, okay, I have to write the full command. So what does it mean? It means that, uh, hey bro, hey bro, the DHCP server. If uh, the client wants to get the IP address from you, please do not let the client uh, uh, get this IP address. I mean, list the IP address. Why? Because the IP address is already assigned on your interface. So if the client get the IP address, you're going to have the, uh, the problem in your network. Your network have no default gateway. Okay? So this is the meaning of the uh, command. Not allow the IP, this IP address to assign on the DHCP client. All right. And then we have to go out and we copy run start to save the configuration. And this is the end of the command uh, that we're going to config on the router. So I'm going to do it on the uh, CLI mode. Okay. Go into configuration mode. Take with zero slash zero here. IP address 10, zero one. Zero, no shutdown. Okay, IP DHCP pool LAN network ten zero zero zero. Start to default. Uh, DNS. Okay, eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Default routes is ten zero zero one right there. And going to DHCP excluded address. Okay, ten zero zero one right there. Okay, copy, run, start. All right, for this, and then gonna let's uh, gonna see that uh, as you can see here, uh, we have the DHCP and the static. All right, on the up right there. So the static means that we have to manually add the IP address, and DHCP is going to get the IP address from the DHCP server. 
Okay, so when I start to click the DXCP server here, this guy is gonna send the uh, DXCP Discord message to the server and request, um, uh, and then offer and then request and then acknowledgement back and force something like that. So let's see. Okay, you can see that this is the ACP request successful. And the client get the IP address 10.0.0.2 uh, slash 24. And the default gateway is 10.0.0.1. And DNS server is 8.8.8.8. So the process is going to process inside the wire like this that we cannot see. Okay, so let's do on the other node. Well, boom. And you can see that this one is get 10.0.0.3. And the previous hops get 10.0.0.2, so 34, uh, okay, 10.0.0.1, and the DS server is 8.8.8.8. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, show in the router right there. I'm going to show IP DHCP binding to see that, uh, okay, uh, you can see that this mac, the hardware address here is the physical address of the route of the laptop 0, get the IP address 10.0.0.2. And the hardware address of the laptop one get the IP address of 10.0.0.3. As <laughs> you can see, at least expiration we done. Uh, I haven't config, so it's just not in this case. Okay, you okay, can adjust this letter. All right, this is the end of the lab. I hope you guys do this lab and expand more switches, expand more routes uh, to get many hops away, and add more uh, node right here. Okay. So, uh, thanks for you guys to spend the time watching my video, and this is very great, and I appreciate that. Okay, goodbye guys, see you guys on the next video.